Alright, today we're going to be looking at the Scenario tool in Promax and how we can use it to set up case studies that we want to perform. Okay, the first thing we're going to look at is loading up the Scenario tool. Now it's not automatically loaded up into Promax and we have to load it up into Excel ourselves. And let's go ahead and take a look at how we can do that. Okay, in Excel, we want to go to the File menu, and we want to go to Options. Okay, in Options, we're going to go to the Add-ins section. All right, we're going to click on that. Then we're going to go to Manage Excel Add-ins. So we're going to go ahead and click on Go, and that'll bring up another window that's going to allow us to add in some of the tools that we have for Promax. Okay. If it's not loaded automatically, we have to go browse for it. Go to browse, and that'll open up a browsing window. Uh, we'll go look in program files under the C drive, and we're going to look for Brian Research and Engineering. Go under Promax 3, Add ons, Excel, and we're going to see the Promax scenario tool. Right, we're going to want to open that up. I already have it loaded up here. Click OK. And what we should see is a group of S's. One is a single S, the other one has an S with a 2D, and the other one has an S with an EZ. We'll go into the differences between the three S's in a bit. Okay. And so, right now, just so you guys can know, uh, the basic differences between those three tools are the uh, simple S is a general purpose scenario tool. Uh, that's the uh, most basic version of our tool. The other ones are more specialized in their use. For example, the, the 2D, the S with the 2D is a two-dimensional study tool where it'll automatically set up a case study where you have two independent variables and you're studying just one dependent variable. And uh, the easy uh, scenario tool that sets up case studies automatically. You choose the range of uh, case studies that you want to do and Promax will set up the individual case studies automatically. And we'll take a look at those individually later on. Okay. Now what I want to do is we want to do a simple example so you guys can see how to set up the tool and how to make it work for you. All right. In this example, what we want to do, or what we have set up, is a saturated gas. Okay, we have uh, uh, 47 and a half pounds water per million standard cubic feet, and we want to see how the amount of methanol is going to make our solids formation temperature vary. Okay, uh, we see here that we have a chiller that cools down this gas to 15 degrees Fahrenheit. So of course, if our solids formation temperature is anywhere above that, we're going to have the probability of forming hydrates. Okay, so we want to see what is the best uh, methanol injection temperature to use. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to look, take a look at Excel, and we want to make a graph, so to speak, of the different injection rates, so we can see how or what temperature is, what solids formation temperature will give us the best result. Okay, so what we have here is we set up a, the different injection rates range from 0 to 200 and want to see how these solids formation temperatures are going to change. And then we have a nice graph to, to graph it out as we progress in the studies. Okay. And the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and use the scenario tool which is the uh, simple S. We'll click on that once and then we'll go to Promax Projects. What we're going to do there is we are going to select the project we wish to associate this Excel workbook with. Okay, I'm going to give it a, a name. So M-E-O-H study. Okay. And next thing we're going to do is going to go to Promax Input and these are these inputs that we see want to tell Promax what property that corresponds to. So we're going to go to add a variable and the variable name we can change that 
to which, uh, flow rate to flow rate and then moniker is the individual property in Promax that we want to change now I don't know that off the top of my head so I'm going to go ahead and use select Promax object and I'll click on that once and that is going to open up a navigator okay, that navigator I'm going to look for that property okay, that methanol flow rate property and I'm going to open up flow sheets and in this case we have methanol injection flow sheet and that flow sheet has several process streams now the property uh, the flow rate is a property of a process stream so we'll go ahead and open up P streams methanol injection okay. then we're going to go to phases whenever we specify a property for a stream you're doing the total phase so we'll open up the total section go to properties and what we're going to see is we're going to see a couple of the properties that are in bold face and others that aren't. The ones that are bold face are user specified properties. Those are the only properties we can manipulate from Excel. Okay, those are the only properties that we can have as independent variables. You can look at it that way. And we're going to click on mass flow just once. And we've loaded up the moniker. Okay. Our units, these are the units that we have in Excel. They can be different from the ones that are being used in the simulation. Um, they don't matter. This is just so uh, the numbers in Excel will match up with the units correctly. Okay. Then cell address. We can choose the range that we want to load in for our case study. We select the range, in this case A5 to A15. And we'll click OK. Okay. Now we load it up the independent variable. Okay, we take a look at the bottom of the window it says run from we can see it will now run 11 times. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to have an output. Okay, in this case going back to the simulation since we want to have the solids formation temperature and that property is located in an analysis we need to add the analyses into Promax, into the stream, as so, before it's available on the scenario tool, before it's available to be used in the scenario. Okay, so going back to Excel, okay, I'm going to look for that property that solves formation temperature. solids or hydrate okay and we're going to do the same procedure for moniker we can go select Promax object okay and now first thing we notice is everything is in bold face and what that means is everything can be exported as a, a result into Excel okay so what we want to look at is we want to find the solids formation temperature of the mixture. So that can either be stream 1 or 2. In this case, I put an analysis on stream 1. So I'll be using stream 1. And we're going to open up the analyses, open up the freeze out analyses. And we're going to look for solids formation temperature. Click on that once make sure that our units are the ones we have in Excel and we can choose the range where it's going to be reporting in this case it's going to be B5 to B15 click OK now we have our scenario set up pretty easy now let's take a look at how it's going to run Okay, so as we can see, it's running. Our solids formation temperature is indeed decreasing, as we'd expect. And we'll see that Promax is running behind the scenes at every flow rate that we had given it. Okay. 
So these are the results. Uh, we want to maintain it below 15 degrees, so that'll probably be right around maybe 95, 90, 95. Okay. Just for you guys to take a look at how the scenario tool works. Okay. Uh, the next video will be taking a look at the 2D. We'll be taking a look at changing the thermodynamic packages and how that affects us in methanol injection. See which one is better. All right. Well, thank you.